I'm talking about the East and who have, who's impressed me the most. It's definitely the 76ers. I say it with a pinch of salt, though, because I don't think they faced anyone of the, anyone like that's a real test of note yet. Obviously, they did have one blowout loss against the Cavs, but Embiid didn't even play that game. So, hey, um, call it what you will. But the 76ers are looking like a real, like Doc Rivers looks like maybe he has found a team that he can mold in his image and all of that. I mean, Embiid, you, you called it in the preseason. You said, look, if he, if he stays healthy, he could easily put himself in MVP conversation. And right now he's averaging 23 and 12. If the 76ers get the, the, the number one seed in the East, it will be because of um, Embiid. Do you know what I'm saying? It will be because of how well Embiid is playing. You got Ben Simmons, who can average. A, he can. I think Ben Simmons is the next player to um, average a triple double for the season. Like he can easily do that in my opinion. Bro, and he could potentially win Defensive Player of the Year in the same season. Do you know what I'm saying? So, boy, like the, sky, the sky's the limit for Ben Simmons. And then you got Tobias Harris. Look, Tobias Harris was when when the Tobias Harris initially got traded to the 76ers, Like he left the Clippers in the richest form of his life and that was under Doc Rivers do you get what I'm saying like he was getting buckets like he was he, he was in all-star in conversation all-star. yeah no he did he wasn't he picked that year no no he weren't an all-star oh he weren't an all-star but he was in the conversation do you know what I'm saying definitely. fam like he was a like he was a bucket like a walking bucket and obviously he regressed for the last two years but now he's been looking good as well recently so for me the 76ers what they're doing over there and the key to it is the spacing it, there's now more space mm-hmm. on the floor for Ben Simmons and Embiid to go to work. When you talk about um, there's this um, like percentage effectiveness that I can't remember what the actual name of the stat is, but it showed that when the floor was more spaced, like two three years back, Joel. Yeah, Embiid, I know. I know the stat you're talking about. It's basically yeah. um, it's Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid's net rating when they were on the court together. Exactly, exactly, and that decreased. Yeah, when J.J. Reddick, um, Saric, Covington, Covington yeah, were there, yeah. facing the floor for them, they were playing well together. So, bam, they, bam, listen to the. I think they were a plus 18 with exactly. those guys. Last year with Al Horford and all those guys, they were a plus 0. 0.5 or something like that. Fam, and it's like, it just goes to show how not easy it is, but how savvy Daryl Morey is because he's come in, made the trades, he's recognised it straight away and basically done what we've been crying out for the 76ers to do. Either trade Joel Embiid or Ben Simmons or provide them with the pieces to be successful, do you get what I'm saying? Exactly. And that's what's been done, so... Um, give them yeah, a lot of key points in there, bro. Um, to add to that, I think an underrated, underrated pickup is Seth Curry, fam. Because not only is he a knockdown shooter, statistically, you know, he's the best shooter in NBA history, right? Oh, swear, I didn't even know but, that. But the highest three point percentage in NBA history, mad. mad. And not only that, I like him, uh, he's an underrated defender, and then also he's an underrated ball handler because. You don't have to be able to handle the ball like Steph to get your shot off. Do you get what I'm saying? Especially when you're an elite shooter like that. Do you get what I'm saying? So, bro, he can put the ball on the floor. And I think as the season progresses, they're going to clock. The defense is going to have to push up to the three-point line to stop him. Do you get what I'm saying? Put put the ball in his hands more and you'll create lanes for Embiid and Simmons to, to attack the rim. And the thing is, what's mad is that you can't, risk flooding the paint because you leave a guy like Seth Curry open for a nice easy free you That's get what I'm saying? saying and on top of that for me like it's kind of not an indictment but it it, it kind of look, reflects badly on the Mavs because for me if the Mavs aren't as successful as they plan to be it's because they've put even more responsibility in Doncic's in, Doncic's hands. Seth Curry takes the ball out of Doncic's hands on occasions when you need a new man to run the offense. I know you sacrificed Seth Curry for more defense because defense was an issue. But at the same time, I do think an issue is when you have one ball handler on the team who literally conducts the offense every single minute of every single time. That's what I personally believe. That's the reason why Doncic's shooting isn't that great. He's settling for shots that aren't great. He's uh, bad looks. He fam, he probably averages looks. less than one catch and shoot free a game. Do you know what I'm saying? Doesn't you know get catch and shoot looks. That's the, and that's that's not not that it's not good enough. But you want your 
primary ball handler to also have situations where he can get easy frees. Harden doesn't exactly. always, like if you watch a Houston Rockets game, Harden doesn't always get frees that he needs to literally go to work. Fam, sometimes he gets the, the frees where it's spaced out because you have other shooters, Eric Gordon, PJ Tucker in the corner. Jo- fam, John Wall is a double digit assist guy. Do you know what I'm saying? So they, you need someone who can also find you. And that's what Seth Curry provides on that 76ers team. Ben Simmons is then, um, like he doesn't have the responsibility of ensuring that he runs the offense. Do you know what I'm saying? And yeah. even now, if Ben Simmons can be on the court in the fourth quarter, that was the big question. Can Ben Simmons be on the court in the fourth quarter just because he can't shoot? Now he can be because you have that threat of Ben Simmons in the paint doing his thing. And then you've also got Seth Curry who's out there spreading the floor. So yeah, man. Exactly. Well, and listen, Ben Simmons is knocking down a couple threes, baby. Ben oh, Simmons knocking down them corner threes, Stop letting it. it fly. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> He's feeling himself a little bit from the arc. So hopefully that progresses throughout the season. But oh, um, next thing I wanted to touch on. Um, they, they- I got my eye on the ball. I got my eye on the ball. Yeah. Uh, I got my eye on the ball. Uh, I got my eye on the ball. Yeah. I got my eye on the ball. Ooh. I got my eye on the ball